Hey guys, welcome back to my channel. So today I wanted to show you this makeup look. It's a bronzy, goldy, bold lip makeup look. I really, really like it. I thought it was perfect for New Year's, so I wanted to show you guys how I created it. And for, I'm pretty much only using one palette for my eyes, and it's like colors that you can find in pretty much any palette. So it's perfect for anyone who wants to create this look, and it's kind of an easy look so it's perfect for beginners as well so yeah so if you want to keep on watching my video please give it a thumbs up if you liked it please subscribe to my channel and hit, and hit that notification bell so that you'll be notified whenever I upload and yeah so without further ado um, let's just jump right into the video okay so the first product I'm going to be putting on is primer and the primer I'm going to be using is a one heck of a blot um, primer from soap and glory this is what it looks like this is my favorite primer that I pretty much use in all my videos. I really like the way it makes my face feel. It doesn't make my face feel sticky, but it also feels very smooth on my face. I really like it. The next primer I'm going to be applying is the Tarte um, Clean Slate Timeless Smoothing Primer. This is one of my favorite primers as well. I'm just going to apply this all over my face. I use this primer with the Soap and Glory primer all the time. It goes together very well and it makes my makeup last a long time. I'm pretty sure I use the same primer combination in pretty much all my videos. I really like it. Okay, so now moving on to making our face more glowy, I'm going to be using the MAC Strobe Cream in the shade Gold Light. I'm just going to take a small amount of this like maybe like a pea size and I'm going to be applying this all over my face. I want this look to be very glowy but natural at the same time. I feel like that's perfect for New Year's like having like a very natural but glowy look with like a bold lip that's what I think of when I think of New Year's so I really like this look. I'm probably most likely to wear it on New Year's as well. Okay, so for foundation, I'm going to be using the Smashbox Studio Skin Foundation. Um, the lettering has all rubbed off, but this is what the bottle looks like. Um, I'm in the shade 3.35 for shade references. And sorry I'm looking at the viewfinder a lot. I'm using that as my mirror, so I don't have one in front of me, so I'm just going to use that. So the next product I'm going to be using is the Tarte Shape Tape Concealer. I, again, use this pretty much in every single one of my videos. It's a great concealer. I'm just going to take a little bit of that. I'm not going to put a lot. I just want a little bit under my eyes. I won't make it easy for you now. Okay, so now I'm going to contour my jawline. Um... I don't have a sharp jawline. I really wish I did, but I don't, so contour it is. I'm using the Anastasia Beverly Hills Contour Stick in the shade Mink. So I'm just going to take it and apply right under my jawline. So like, just like that. And I'm just going to place a little bit behind my ear as well. I'm going to do the same thing to the other side. Just like that. So I like it just gives more of an illusion of a sharper jawline. I'm actually going to put some right here as well. To kind of slim the face down and a little bit. Just a, like a little bit on my cheeks as well where you would actually contour. It's worth your So now to make my cheeks a little bit more um, blushy and a little bit more shimmery, I'm going to be applying the Becca Beach Tint Shimmer Cream and I'm going to be using the shade Fig Opal. And this is what it looks like. So I'm going to be taking the e.l.f. Small Stipple Brush and I'm just going to put this into the product and pack it on there and just apply it to my cheeks. I 
Okay, so now to add even more highlight, I'm going to be using the Makeup Revolution Highlighting Drops in Luminous Gold. I'm actually going to take this product with my finger, and I'm just going to use a light amount. I'm not going to go too crazy with it, and I'm just going to apply it where we would apply highlighter. I'm going to also apply it a little bit above my brow as well. So as you can see, it gives more of a glow. If you feel like you applied too much, don't worry, we're going to apply like a powder on top. So it'll kind of like tone it down a little bit, but make it still pop a little bit more. So now we're pretty much done with the cream and liquid products on our face, so now we're going to move on to powder. And now to set the foundation and concealer, I'm actually going to go in with the Airspun and Loose Face Powder. This is what it looks like. And I'm just using the shade Translucent. And I'm first going to be taking the smaller brush from Real Techniques. It's a setting brush. I'm going to take a light amount and apply it just under my eyes. and on my T-zone as well. I like doing this because I feel like it really packs in the powder so I don't get oily as fast as I normally would have if I ha didn't do this. This is a new technique I learned um, just like a couple months ago and I really like it because I feel like I don't get oily as much as I used to. Then I'm going to be taking a fluffier brush. This is a cosmetics brush in 202. I'm just going to be taking more of that product and applying it everywhere else on my face. Okay, so now I'm going to be taking a break from the face and moving on to the eyes. So the first thing I'm going to do is prime my eyes using the Too Faced Shadow Insurance um, eyeshadow primer. I'm just going to take a small amount of that and apply it to my eyes okay so the palette i'm going to be using for the eyes is the katie x desi friendcation palette from dose of colors this is what it looks like all the colors that it has it's very pretty it has some matte shades and shimmery shades and it's a very like neutral kind of palette but there are some pops of colors but I really like it. So the first shade I'm going to be taking is Basic, which is this shade right here. And I'm going to be using that to set my primer. So I'm just going to be applying that. So the next shade I'm going to be taking, or the next couple actually, are going to be Necessary and Churro, which are these two shades right here. And I'm going to be mixing them and applying that all over my lid. You can keep packing the shade on until you are satisfied. I'm just going to apply one more layer to make it even more darker. So the next shade I'm going to be taking is to apply like in the outer V and a little bit into the crease to deepen up the look a little bit. So that shade is going to be the color Sheens, with, which is this dark brown color right here. So I'm just going to take a little bit of that and tap off the excess and go in to the eye. And like I said, I'm going to be applying it very lightly because I don't want the eye look to be that dramatic. So now I'm going to go back in into like the inner corner of my eye to lighten it up a little bit more because I feel like it's a little bit darker than I actually wanted it to be. So I'm going to take the shade Basic again from the same palette, which is this first shade right here, and I'll be applying that into like the inner corner of my eye. I won't make it easy for you now. to blend everything together i'm just going to be taking this elf 
brush and it's a blending brush and I'm just gonna be it's a clean brush and I'm just gonna be taking it and just buffing everything into the eye to make sure it blends together and there's no harsh lines so that's about it for the eyes now I'm just gonna actually line my eyes and add a wing and I'm gonna be using the Stila Stay All Day Waterproof Liquid Liner and I'm just gonna be lining both my eyes and winging it out just a little bit. Okay, so I'm back. I actually decided to wing my liner off camera because it was taking way too long and I kept messing up. I usually like to tape off my eyes and then line my eyes because it's a lot easier, it comes out sharper, and if I mess up then it goes onto the tape and not onto like the rest of my makeup. But I forgot to do that so I kind of just winged my wing liner. So um, they're definitely not perfect but you get the idea so now I'm just actually going to move on to the face and finish up the face and then come back to the eyes so the first thing I'm going to be doing is contouring and I'm going to be taking the Benefit Hoola bronzer in the original shade and I'm going to be applying this like right under my cheeks where you would contour a little bit down to like give more of like a sharper look on the face I'm just going to go down like that I don't really know like what you call this area, but that's what I'm doing. <laughs> then a little bit under my jaw to make it more defined. And a little bit on the forehead. Try to hide it, but you had me from the get go. Let me be frank, I'm not that complicated. So now I'm gonna bronze up the face and I'm gonna be using a hula bronzer again from Benefit, but this is in the shade Caramel. So I'm just going to be taking a little bit of that and applying it on my cheeks. Okay, so now for blush, I'm going to be taking the Milani Baked Blush in the shade Berry Amour. This is what it looks like. It's a very pretty luminous blush, which is perfect for the look that I'm going for. This has pretty much been my everyday blush for a while now. I really like it. I think it makes your cheeks look super pretty. And like kind of acts as like a highlighter as well. So like when I'm running to class and I don't have time to like apply a lot of makeup and I want to wear makeup, then I'll just use this product. And it acts as both a blush and a highlighter. It's really, really nice. So I'm just going to be applying that on my cheeks. Okay, so for highlighter, I'm going to be using a Laura Geller highlighter palette. This is what it looks like. I actually got this as a gift, so I don't know where you can get it. But it has three highlighting shades in it. So I'm actually going to be using this first shade and the third shade and I'm going to be mixing them together and applying them to my cheeks. And I'm just going to be taking a little bit of both and applying it to my cheeks. I'm going to be applying some on my nose as well and the bridge of my nose and the cupid's bow. I'm not taking a smaller brush, this is from Real Techniques, it's their accent brush, this is what it looks like. I'm actually just going to be taking that golden shade and applying it to the inner corners of my eye. But don't you try to call me tomorrow. It'll brighten up your eye and make your eyes look bigger if you put highlighter on the inner corners. Okay, so now I'm going to be applying some Fix Plus to my face in the shade Gold Light. And this will just make your face look more glowy, which, again, for the 50th time I said in this video, I want a more glowy face. So I'm going to be applying this to my face. I'm going to try to avoid my eyes so it doesn't, like, mess anything up, so. So while that's drying, I'm actually going to move on to my eyebrows. And I don't really do much to my eyebrows because they're pretty much, like, full already. I just like filling in any bare spots that there are. And so I'm going to be using the Benefit Cup Brow product so that's pretty 
pretty much all I do for my brows. I'm gonna set them though with the Anastasia Beverly Hills Clear Brow Gel. And I'm just gonna run this through my brows just to set them in place. So for the eyes, I'm going to be taking the Morphe M438 brush. This is just a flat shader brush. And I'm going to be taking the shade Cheens again. And I'm going to be running this through my bottom lash line to just deepen up that bottom part. I'm going to be lighting my eyes using the Maybelline Lasting Drama Matte Eyeliner in the shade Black. So I'm going to be tight lining the bottom and upper waterline to make my eyes look more defined and darker. I won't make it easy for you now. You got two minutes of my time. Okay, so now I'm going to be curling my lashes and applying a mascara. So um, the mascaras that I'm going to be using are the L'Oreal um, Lash Paradise Mascara and the Tarte Man Eater Mascara. These are both in the shade Black. And I'm going to be applying the L'Oreal one first and then the Tarte one next. So I'm just going to be doing that right now. You would do anything that I want, so keep us awake till the dawn. So now we're done with the face and the eyes, so now we're on to the fun part, which is the lips, and I'm super excited for this lip color. Um, so I'm going to be using red for the lips. This is from Persona, and it's in the shade Holy Grail. This is a super, super pretty red color. I love it. It's a uh, blue-toned red, so it makes your teeth look whiter. So, I mean... That's always a great thing for a bold lip to have to make your teeth look whiter because sometimes it can make your teeth look yellow, which is why I tend to stay away from like bold, dark, or bright colors. Um, but this one is really, really nice. I recommend it. I got this from Ulta. And to line my lips, I'm going to be using the LA Girl Ultimate Lip Intense Stay Auto Liner in the shade Relentless Red, which is just a red color. So first I'm gonna be lining my lips with the Lord or with the LA Girl lip liner. But you had me from the get go. Let me be frank. I'm not that complicated. If you need me, it's a use of playing games though. There's no denial of me. Just watch me break. So now that I line my lips, I'm going to go in with the liquid lipstick. Um, again, this is Persona in the shade Holy Grail. This lipstick will not budge at all. I was wearing this while I was eating pizza one day and it did not come off. So it's a really good lipstick that I think everyone should try. I really like it. So I'm going to be applying this now. Okay, so this is what the finished look looks like. It's a very pretty glowy bronzy um, makeup look with a bold lip and I absolutely love this. Like I said earlier, I wore this on Christmas and I love the look. So I wanted to show you guys how I created the look so that you guys can wear it on New Year's if you want to. It's very pretty. The red lipstick is phenomenal. It lasts forever. It lasted me all night. It lasts for like 
hours and it did not budge when I ate pizza and like a bunch of greasy food. So I suggest everyone tries it. It's amazing. I got it off of Alton. I think it's $17, I believe. I don't really remember, but it was around $16, $17. I love it. I think you should try it. <laughs> so that's about it for this video. I hope you guys like it. And if you did, please give it a thumbs up. It really helps. Please subscribe to my channel and please leave a comment um, telling me what kind of videos you want to see in 2020. I want to be a lot more active on my channel um, because I don't have like very hard classes, I think, fingers crossed, for um, spring of 2020. So I'm hoping to actually be able to film a lot more and give you guys more content so um, please leave a comment below telling me what kind of videos you like to see. Um, I know a lot of you guys like my paranormal videos. I will film those when I get back to school. I don't like filming them in the house because I feel like I'm gonna bring negative energy and like make more activity happen so it kind of freaks me out a little bit so I'm just gonna film that at school so so yeah so that's about it for this video and I'll see you guys in my next video. I hope you guys have a happy new year and I wish you all the luck in the upcoming year and the upcoming decade and yeah so I'll see you guys later. Bye!